Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia, and today I'm going to show you how to make these mini coconut blueberry pancakes. They are super fabulous for a brunch or for breakfast or really any occasion, and you don't have to make them mini. You can make them big or do whatever you want, but I'm actually putting these on my Easter brunch, so they are going to be fabulous and delicious, and they're going to go with a whole bunch of other little dishes. And I hope you check out my Easter brunch video also, which I will be putting up soon because it's going to have all the other recipes that I'm putting on also. And let's go get started. In a large bowl, I'm going to combine two and a half cups of all-purpose flour along with one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and somewhere between a quarter and a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm just mixing those up. In this bowl I have 14 ounces of buttermilk and 8 ounces of coconut milk and I'm adding two eggs into that and then I'm just going to use my hand mixer to kind of mix it up and make sure the eggs are well beaten and ready to go into my dry ingredients. So once I have that nice and mixed up I'm going to pour it into my bowl of dry ingredients and I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix that up. But a little side note here, I'm just mixing it until it's combined. You don't want to over mix it because that will make your pancake get tough you don't want to develop the gluten in the flour so I just barely mixed it and then I'm going to use my spatula to continue mixing until it's combined so once that happens I'm going to add in a half of a cup of sugar along with five tablespoons of butter which I melted in the microwave and then I let them cool off so I don't want to add hot butter into this mixture again mix those up until they're combined but don't mix too long because you don't want to end up with tough pancakes once you have it mixed with the hand mix or go back to your spatula make sure you scrape the bottom and the sides and that you get everything mixed up really well once I'm finished mixing this up I'm going to go over here to my flat top my griddle whatever you want to call it and I just put some coconut oil on there and I'm kind of spreading it around and I have also transferred my batter into a measuring cup just to make it easier here and I like to use a spoon to kind of drop it down and hold your spoon straight up that'll give you kind of a rounder little pancake and you can also adjust it and try to get the circle nice so put as many as you can fit onto your griddle and wait until the sides start to look dry and then you're going to give them a nice little flip and wait until they're golden too you want this pretty little golden color on the side before you flip them over. You shouldn't be flipping your pancakes, flipping them, flipping them, you know, just flip them once. Go back, check them, see if they're beautiful and golden underneath, which mine are, although you can't really tell because the sun is shining bright through my window, but see, they're pretty and golden. So I'm going to put these onto a plate lined with a paper towel. I'm using the paper towel so the bottom doesn't get soggy because these are hot, so they're definitely going to be steamy as I put them onto my plate, and I don't want the soggy bottom. So now we have a little game to play. It's called Match Up the Pancakes. Yay! So I put them into stacks kind of by size and I'm going to find the ones that match each other the best. And then I'm going to put some whipped cream right on top and I've taken toothpicks and put a blueberry and that just slides right in through the little pancakes and you end up with this very beautiful little pancake stack with the blueberry. And there it is, all finished up, my beautiful little mini coconut blueberry pancakes. For more delicious recipes, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there. You can also check out bestbitesforever.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone.